Go, action. Yep. Yeah, okay. All right. So this is just actually a little um, quick thing about uh, calves with diarrhea and what to do with them. So it's actually November now, so this is uh, basically all of our late calves that um, actually, they were, yeah, they're late calves basically, and they there has been some bad diarrhea going on here. Um, there's been a couple who died, and, um, and the problem pretty much is that the pens were quite overloaded towards the end you know, of the thing. There's probably a buildup of bacteria in here, and um, you, know, you just get busier and busier with doing stuff and not really doing the job you know, as you'd like to be doing it. So this is a good example. This calf, we've just been feeding them for the last couple of days. This calf has been sucking, um, comes up to get a feed, it sucks, sort of seems to be okay, but when you really watch it carefully, you see that it's not really getting that much. It sort of sucks a bit and then kind of sort of gives up. And it is actually very skinny. Now, just before I get it set up, you can actually see from where it's been sitting that it's actually done a, a bit of a poop and it's pretty sloppy. And when it stands, um, you can see if you film in close by its tail, it's just got a really wet, yucky tail and it's quite skinny compared to its face. Now it's still hungry, so you know we've caught it in enough times. You know, and see it's licking and it's coming in for a suck, it's sucking my thumb now. But look how sunk its eyes are. If you kinda you can hardly even see its eyeball to be honest. Um, on both sides. So I'm gonna um, because you could actually just feed this you know some so our sort of thing here with a calf with diarrhea is to basically take it off milk for a couple of days and feed it electrolytes, and I've just quite like this stuff, which is diarrhea. Um, this isn't just electrolytes, so this has actually got some energy in it. I can't actually think what it is in there, but when you mix it up, you can tell. You can, it sort of seems like a you know, gravy or something. It smells quite nice. So I'm gonna, and just to sort of show how to do it, I'm actually going to stomach tube it um, using one of these thingies. So that, and the trick with these is that I'm, sh first of all, I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I just want to whack it in and know that it's definitely got two liters. Um, and and actually, because it's sort of late in the day now, we're actually going to give it another one late tonight, I think, in the dark, just to really try and get it good quickly. Um, and we may actually put it pen on its own so we can just see. So you can see how skinny it is, like it's all hollow and thing. And this is actually a really nice black white face heifer. So this is like a $200 calf, theoretically. And so what you do is you, um, you try and get sideways. So you kind of get it between your legs. You feed this, you hold this thingy like that. You, um, oh, actually, I just forgot now. Yeah. I just put quite hot water in this. Oh, that's good. This stuff is, see how kind of slimy it is? It's, it's like, um, got corn flour or something in it. So I think it actually does a really good job. So, I'm gonna, so you just feed, slide this in slowly, and you let the, um, the calf basically just swallows the little red blob that was on the end of the thing. Okay. When it's totally in, you turn it up with the ear nozzle thing at the top and it's away I can hear it gurgling you pretty much can't do this wrong it kind of seems a bit freaky but the blob on the end is pretty much too big to go down the windpipe um, and if you did get it in the windpipe, the calf would start coughing like crazily. So as long as you just feed it in slowly, um, you're fine. And just as it gets to the point, you know, about you know, this far down, six inches down, just where it's going to go down the, um, the esophagus. Its mate who's in this pen, actually, uh, she was in here as well because the other day she didn't drink. So we were feeding all the calves and that one hung at the back. Uh, wasn't really quite sure. So we just put her on her own. The very next day she was hungry again. So... She, I don't know what, she must be having a bad day. Or maybe she just drank a little bit too much the feed before. If you look around this pen, actually Alex, see all that white crap over there? We actually, these calves were on once a day feeding and we put them onto twice because they just weren't looking um, that good. I think they were struggling with drinking, you know, four liters at one hip. And we did get a bit of, a lot of runny poop, but, um, but the calves were still all healthy. So. Personally, if you get, you know, if you have, for some reason they have a big feed and they kind of have the squirts afterwards, it isn't necessarily something you've got to treat um, unless you've got sick calves, you know, or like this one, you can just tell that they're not right. And 
The biggest thing that kills um, calves with diarrhea is dehydration. You pretty much can cure most um, most simple cases of scows without antibiotics. You know, it's, it's um, just changing the taking them off milk for a bit and using electrolytes should work. So we'll see if this will see how this calf is tomorrow. Okay, you can cut. Yep. This is going to be not very good video if um, this calf is dead in the morning. Um, so hopefully not. So when when it's all gone. Seems kind of happy. I'm actually, it's about, uh, I think it's about six o'clock now. So we're going to come back actually tonight just before I go to bed, say at about 10, and I'm going to get another two litres just to be, um, you know, so they give it a real good boost. And then hopefully by tomorrow, and it is quite dehydrated. You can, this, I think it's really obvious. Actually, I'll grab the, oh, well, yeah, it is kind of obvious, hey? But, you know, you look at the hurt face, you know, and you just can't even really see her eyes. You know, they're sunken on eye sockets. And, you know, this, whereas, look at these calves looking at us here, big bulging eyes sticking out. So, you know, this calf is actually dying. And even though it might come up and drink a bit of milk, if it only drinks about a litre of milk, but then, you know, has two litres go out and it's poop, then it's going to die. Okay, cool. Okay, selfie. So we're back in the shed. Uh, it's now about 12 o'clock at night. We've had nothing better to do than drench this sick calf. It's actually like got super moon up there. And here's the calf trying the sharp mini. So she's up and about. She, she kind of, I think the she looks better already. Her eyes. Yeah, definitely her eyes are mm. better. Hey. But we're going to give her um, we're going to give her another two liters and the student <laughs> shining in his face. All the way from England <laughs> is going to uh, see if he can do it. So, all right, between your legs, right. don't try to get calf shit on you. This is obviously be much better in the daylight. All right. So, so just support her head and bring it up, kind of. Yeah, you have to feed that down. Lift the head, keep lifting your head up, sort of thing. So, start good. Keep feeding it in. Keep holding the the. Oh yeah, I guess that's all right. Yeah, just, just oh, keep yeah. feeding down. She'll swallow it. Twist it around to the valve in the top. Wait, go right up to the red pit. That's soft there, so she'll sort of. That's okay. good. Okay, now up and sort of lift your head up at the same time. Okay, and you should hear it gurgling. <laughs> keep lift your head up higher, so it's sort of. Even higher if you can, like get her head up higher between. What's why is it dribbling out so much? No, it's coming out the valve. Oh, you just put on that zero. Zero. Okay. That was all right. I had it. it. Don't let her drop her head if you can help it. So the key thing is keeping it deep. You know, don't be think, oh no, I'll let it come out a little bit because mm. when it's right in deep, it's obviously then right down, you know, way down her esophagus, so it's not gonna. <coughs> Is that just liquid coming out the breather hole? I think. Okay, well, obviously this is pretty boring, so we're actually cut now. Okay, so there she is. She's had another two liters. She had four liters in the last five hours, I guess, so it's quite a lot. Tummy's pretty full. Took a while for that actually to all go into her. But um, hopefully in the morning she's going to look bright eyed uh, and uh, semi bushy tailed. Cut. Yee. We're here, we've got helpers this morning. And actually you can film me, yeah, like, so yep, I guess. Of course. No. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay, so very we've just strolled up, it's uh, eight o'clock. Uh, Madeline slept in. Film with Madeline. My No, she's good. Why? We don't have milk today. Why not? Shiza. We don't have milk today. She looks slightly pleased about this. Yeah, we're so smug. No, they will have saved milk for us, hopefully. <laughs> okay, let's get our calf done. Standing up. And then... Look at his eyes. It's the big test. 
eyes are bulging out again. Yeah, look at that. Nice, normal eyes. It's a good sign. Still got quite a creepy tail though. The question now is... She... She looks good. You can see the difference in the eyes? Oh, no. Mm. Stop. Um, mm. Okay, that's a good sign. I think we'll um, I think we'll give her one more thing of that stuff, actually. Mm. 